Hi everybody, um, today I'm going to be filming uh, unboxing and first impressions of the Littlest Pet Shop Special Edition um, number 1518, which is a little anteater that um, comes with ant as well and a leaf. Um, I'm really excited to break this open and see what it's all about. By the way, my cinematographer is Simon, my best friend. Simon Darrow, hit me up for any cinematography yeah, needs. Simon Darrow. Let me see if I can just break into it with my fingers. I have the scissors just in case. But it does have very secure packaging. There's like tape. And it is in mint condition, by the way. Which actually, like, you would think because it's a special edition in mint, collect in mint condition, it might be like an expensive collector's toy. But Little's Pet Shops, like Hasbro has really struggled with that franchise, honestly. And they're not a great value for collectors. Um, so they're actually pretty cheap to get on eBay. This was only $9 in the package with accessories. Um, and you can get like a bunch of Littlest Pet Shops for very cheap on eBay. Um, and I don't really care about the packaging because I'm not a collector in that way. I am more interested in the toy for playing with. And it comes with a manual. Oh, yeah. It's like advertising other little pet shops you can get. Let's see. Turn the page. Wow. It has the first ever platypus offer. OMG. Um, and on the front it says, how big is your littlest pet shop? Which I don't really know what that means. It makes you think. <laughs> I did have um, Littlest Pet Shops as a child, but we did get rid of them, so this is my first Littlest Pet Shop. Um, um, it says copyright 2009 Hasbro, China. So this guy is... Uh, Pretty old. I don't know how to do the math on that one. He's very beautiful. Um, there's a slight flaw in the paint on his eye, but I feel like that gives him charm and character. Um, and you can see his, his cutie mark there. <laughs> <laughs> he has a great bushy tail. I love the tails on the Littlest Pet Shop Anteaters. And he has an amazing nose. Look at that profile, man. That's a snap. <laughs> oh, and he has a, such a good bobble head and you can move it around he can look around man. <laughs> but what's really exciting about the special edition is that it comes um, with these accessories it comes with this little leaf boat that has little spirals all over it um, very cute and it also comes with two ants it has um, one of these pegs on it that you can attach um, the foot of the Littlest Pet Shop to so he can stand in the little boat. I forgot about that feature of Littlest Pet Shops. So you can stand in the leaf boat. Oh, I wonder if this would float in water, if I could bring this in the bath. That'd be really fun. But it does have two ants, so it's very realistic. It came with food for him. So, come here, Simon. <laughs> you see the hole in the foot, classic Littlest Pet Shop feature, so that it can interact with the Littlest Pet Shop um, environments. And two little ants, which, you know, if you're floating by on the river, like, on your little leaf boat, and you see an ant, you have the long snout, so you can just go and um, grab them up, you know? very very convenient nature works in very beautiful um, and interconnected ways i do like the detail of like the pink plastic um flower on the the leaf boat and also the the spirals on the leaf boat i think are a good detail um, i am curious to see if this floats in water and is a functional boat but you know there's all sorts of ways you can play with this set you know there's no rules the limits your imagination I discovered um, that there's an extra thing 
in here, which I think is a sticker. This was taped to the bottom. Ooh. It's a little snake. I think it might be scratch and sniff. <gasps> really? I kind of remember that from my childhood. It's not. Oh shit. <laughs> but it is a sticker, I think. Yeah, maybe I'll put this on my computer. Or my car. <laughs> <laughs> There's so many more things to put stickers on when you're an adult than when you're a kid. So, I really appreciate that. It adds an extra element. It's sort of like, it feels very luxurious now. Like, they included these little extra things that I didn't even know I would get in the package. Um, which I guess is the benefit to buying a mint condition Little's Pet Shop in the package versus um, just buying loose used ones. They were made in 2009, so it's not like I'm creating demand for plastic um, figurines to be made. Um, I'm just enjoying the ones that already exist on Earth. And this little guy will be around for probably thousands of years, man. The paint will rub off, though. He'll still remain in a beautiful shape. Like, I feel like his silhouette is iconic enough that um, even in a thousand years, somebody could recognize that this is an anteater toy. Like, some sort of really smart biologist could figure that out. Based on the snout, you know. That's, de that's definitely gonna be an anteater snout. Mm-hmm. All right, let's test this thing out on water. Simon was just pointing out that the ants only have four legs. Yeah. Which is very unrealistic. It makes them cuter, like maybe a kid who's afraid of bugs would be less scared of this because it doesn't look that much like an ant. It, it definitely gets the ant message across. Yeah, and pan, pan, pan to the ants here. Yeah, somewhere. we have some real ants for comparison. Yeah, it's, it's summer, so we have some ants in the bathroom. That they have six legs. The ants always come inside during the summer because it's an old house. Mm -hmm. When you were a kid, did you ever, like, play with your baby dolls in the sink when you, like, washed their hair and stuff? Um, I definitely, I had a baby doll that was, like, you fill it up with warm water and then it feels like it's alive. I'm trying to get the ant carcass out of the water That's here. Weird. Wait, you have an anteater for that. <laughs> well, there's the, the ant on my thumb. Yeah. Show for comparison, please. Oh, I know. <laughs> Feed. It's gone, man. You mm -hmm. ate it right now. <laughs> <laughs> That's real play. Okay. Let's see. <gasps> oh my god. But the question is, does it float with the anteater on it? Let's see. This isn't an ant boat. Like, let's let's be real here. <laughs> yeah, it even has the peg on it. Mm-hmm. Don't let me down in your house, bro. <laughs> no, he's too top heavy. <laughs> that's is so that, sad. That's, that's so terrible. sad. This is a terrible what toy. What the hell? They got our hopes up. <laughs> <laughs> Why'd they make it a boat? Um, it's for <laughs> your imagination, I guess, and not for real life. Ugh. Well, now he has sad. a nice. He's had a nice bath. Yeah, clean. Look how shiny he is in mm -hmm. the light. What a beautiful little guy. I love his tan color. Yeah. I think his snout is one of his best features. Yeah, his snout is so good. Look at the front view mm -hmm. versus the side. Beautiful profile. Oof. <laughs> that nose. The camera loves him. Mm -hmm. So I, overall, I have to take off points because the ants only have four legs and because the, the boat doesn't float with the anteater in it. But overall, I would say this toy is like a 8 out of 10. Um, I can tell we're going to be friends. He has a very charming little smile. Thanks for watching my unboxing and review. Subscribe. Like, like, comment, and subscribe for more. Hit the bell no hit the, hit the bell button so you get notifications and for my, every new video. Um, my Venmo is um, Harris underscore Scorpion if you want to send me money from another little pet shop. My Venmo is Simon <laughs> Yashik. Yashik is spelled J A S. I'm a great, I did all the uh, cameraman work for my sister's puppet show okay. that we produced when we were children. Yeah. Chef Guglielmo Spazzatura, if you know, so.
I have chops. Look at that face. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that face. Beautiful. Pink ears. Oh, yeah. Pink ear interior. Mm -hmm. Very cute. <laughs>